what's up sorry it's been a while but i'm back and today i'm here with a review of the ultrapod 2 tripod or i should say mini pod i guess so this is a three-legged plastic wonder that will fit in your camera bag with ease could fit into your pocket if you really wanted it to right now i'm just going to take some time and show you what came with it not much at all i bought it on amazon with a few other items so it came in a bigger package but this is what came with the ultrapod 2 itself just a plastic bag and then here you got yeah there's a plastic bag and then this is just a little title thing that they put on it at the top just showing you some of the technology of it so that's kind of cool to see. So now let's take a look at the Ultrapod 2. So the first thing you may notice is what I'm doing right now. I'm taking the Velcro strap off and I'm unraveling it to show you some of the functions of the Ultrapod 2. I want to take some time to mention that there's an Ultrapod 1 also out. Not much of a difference except what you guys may care about, the weight load. It probably couldn't hold a DSLR. This can, however, which I will show that later. Now, if you are interested in this $3 price difference, $3 is not much. I don't know why you'd care, but the Ultrapod 1 holds 3 pound cameras and the Ultrapod 2 can hold six pounds so it could hold a light dslr the ultrapod one that is but just to be safe i would get the ultrapod two i'll put the link to both of those in the description below so you can see them and i want to show you some of the ultrapods technology right here this tightening bolt adjust whether you want to adjust the top part which i'm adjusting right now or the camera would attach to or you can adjust the lower part to get some cool angles now speaking of cool angles this thing really can give you some cool angles you can strap it to fences trees branches poles anything that this velcro strap will fit around now i do want to mention that some things may be too thick for the velcro strap to wrap itself around now i'm just demoing how to put the velcro strap in because this actually took me a while you want to take it around twice and then take it the other way and then strap it into place it took me a while and then that's if you're not strapping it to anything that can vary depending on the diameter of what you want to strap it to so yeah you take it through twice so the velcro part is showing make sure you get it through that loop twice and then you take it the other way so it comes in contact with the Velcro and sticks in place. So another thing the UltraPod can be used for is stabilization, which I'm showing right here. You can attach your camera to the top and just hold it kind of like a camera on a stick. Yeah, and it works quite well in my experience. It does actually help stabilize and it does work for my big giant of a DSLR. My DSLR is quite heavy and it does hold it quite well. So it does work and there's some proof helps stabilize all right so now i just want to wrap up this review and i want to say that i think everyone should have one of these it really does maximize your possibilities for camera angles i think it's great and i hope you pick one up like i said link is in the description fits in your camera bag fits in your pocket fits anywhere one last thing guess what it's also made in the usa oh my god that is awesome all right i'll see you guys later